an entire episode that was uh, something we chopped off during our last rounds i'm sure a part of me will be thinking oh, this woman's not you know delivering like sai pali what do i do i think four versions of the climax a few people said i don't think this is how they talk in quotes dramatic back story with you know like air i'm composing a song for it i think i just wanted to stay truthful to what inspired me that song let's go okay andarki namaskaram so today uh, th- this is another special episode uh, that we are doing uh, so off late one of uh, one of the best in mass in this genre uh, that came to indian films is gargi so we have uh, gautam with us who wrote the film who directed the film and also produced the film so we had multiple hats in this film uh, welcome gautam thanks a lot for doing this hi thanks one small correction i i wrote it with another person we co-wrote it together and the guy by name uh, my a friend by name hari haran raju yeah. yeah 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 i forgot but like uh, i i saw the titles and okay. uh, i yeah. saw the movie in telugu and huge shout okay. out to rakendra mauli uh, for dialogues right. and also songs i have been listening to the songs for multiple uh, like right after i watched the movie and okay. uh, he has done a great job uh, so yeah. i was discussing with prithvi also earlier saying that rakendra mauli doing god's work in terms of uh, writing lyrics for dubbing songs uh, yeah shout out to rakendra mauli <laughs> i wanted to yep, do that absolutely as sandy was saying uh, rakendra mauli's lyrics and uh, he, he de- i mean i've seen that film in tamil so uh, he, okay. he has seen it in telugu so i did not listen to the songs or i mean the tamil version songs i did not listen to to them so sandy okay. mentioned to me saying that uh, rakendra mauli's lyrics are too good just listen to the album so after i finished after i finished watching the film uh, a day later i guess i started listening to the songs and that has been on loop for 2 3 days at least because okay. I, I've, i've been listening to the same four songs again and again and i was not able to place where these where two of the songs might have come in your screenplay did you edit it out okay. or did you uh, did you just uh, i mean i did, i did not understand what was the reason for those songs existing and they are good which that, song that, are you referring to uh for example uh, chinna attayo which is chin, chinna mamiyo in tamil i guess chinna mamiyo yeah so chinna mamiyo and uh, the 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 slow song tuvi tuvi in tamil which in telugu is larana words right larana yeah yeah, yeah. larana so um chinna attayo chinna mamiyo is actually part of an entire episode that was uh, something we chopped off during our last rounds in right. the second half and uh, the lalavi is again part of a small flashback that uh, that happens in gargi's narrative which again we decided to right uh, remove okay. in the yeah in the last version because uh, somewhere we felt we were pushing the uh, the patience levels uh, you know so we thought it could do without that and the reason we chopped off uh, the achinate was because there was a, a a particular point that me and my co-writer we were trying to deliver with with uh, that chapter but that did not sort of land i think so we took it off right right but i mean uh, obviously we did not see it because it was chopped off but from whatever i could figure out from the telugu lyrics what raken moli wrote i understood that it it's kind of a folk folk tale where uh, the two uh, like uh, about child marriage something related to that and he comes to his house I, and I, see I'll let me elaborate yeah, uh, actually it's a very famous sri lankan baila song right oh right. okay R- written many many decades ago which we had sought a special permission from the singer uh, an elderly gentleman by name dr nidhi kanagratnam who's right now settled in australia we reached out to him took his permission the, all this is in the writing stage itself and right. Uh, right. we shot the chase sequence with the edit in mind but uh, like i said a couple of other uh, scenes did not land uh, by the way we are releasing that's why the other room is occupied that's my edit suite uh, it's occupied because we are planning to release the deleted footage i think in about a week or so I've had oh, okay. a lot of Sai Pallavi's fans actually send me warnings 
when are you going to release it sir <laughs> earlier it started with sir when are you going to release now it's like when are you going to release sir so that's that's <laughs> happening soon interesting <laughs> right uh since you mentioned sai pallavi was the story written in mind like in the, in the initial stages with pallavi in mind or it was just written no, and then no, no. you are no the idea was uh, uh, we wrote it to write a good story uh, to write like a like a wholesome film is what we aimed at uh, writing and another thing is uh, before uh, saigaru came on board uh, we we were with a couple of uh, other artists uh, but unfortunately for many reasons that did not work out and it was it was it was at this point where it would go into limbo go into discussion and you know we would get dates and salary and all that but it it did not score 10 on 10 for on a lot of areas and at one point i decided to withdraw and i had wanted to make it with her right after the first artist but uh, i couldn't so at at one point i withdrew from every obligation that i was in and uh, i repaid all the monies and i decided i'll do it this the way i want with the artist i wanted and that's how i approached uh, sai pallavi and that's the rest is you know uh, yeah. <laughs> history yeah definitely right. uh what you mentioned right now right uh, we wanted to write a very wholesome film i think that pretty much sums up the film in the entire film because uh, through sai pallavi's journey what we see is every aspect of society how they react to the victim and how they react themselves is shown beautifully in the film and it is not shown in an exaggerated way it is shown uh, as like how how it happens naturally and right. uh, yeah wholesome uh, like you 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 put it beautifully is what i thought so Great. um uh, so so when when we set out to write we wanted to do this thing where you get a 360 degree perspective of the incident you know all sides this house that house the lawyer involved the police involved <clears throat> uh, everybody uh, and more often than not that is done but a lot of the information is force fed when uh, when when writers for commercial cinema try to uh, represent uh, different aspects of the society and i said that you know that's already done i don't think we need to do that so we tried to get into the real skin and just something like that we tried that that's that's why i think uh, every character has an arc and uh, there's a back story to all of them and a lot of them are playing in the gray shade you know rather than yes. purely white and purely black this 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 thing that sometimes how daily life is right so we we try to keep it in that zone because i thought this script Uh, required that sort of a treatment right all right uh, yeah so while, while you are writing that right gautam uh, so there is a very thin line wherein you have to uh, deal with the nuances very carefully otherwise it may come as something that is uh, not not very uh, right uh, there is a very thin line right so how like how many iterations did you and your co-writer took for the entire script to like uh, for it to come in this <coughs> form see if you are referring to just the skeletal structure of the film we finished it in 22 days uh, right. but if you are referring to the nuances uh, nomenclature uh, value that got added because of geography because of uh, that particular casting um, all these things i think um, you know it was a never ending process i think we were working on the film till the 14th of july 15th being the release right. so it's just something and not as a matter of pressure or anything we enjoyed it you know every time we would uh, and i luckily i had technicians and artists who were equally on board uh, working with sai and all was it it kills you for when you want to work with not that i worked with too many people but it sort of uh, the, the sort of commitment that she brings to the table i'm sure the next time i work i i'm sure a part of me will be thinking oh this woman's not you know delivering like sai pali what do i do so she sort of spoils you, you know with with how much ownership she takes kali venkat uh, my musician go with my of course co-writer hari 
my uh, dop is prem and uh, shanti and my editor shafiq was also a very close friend and uh, govin needless to say my magician music director shubha my costume all these people came together uh, sandy to answer your question uh, but scriptly i mean strictly on a script level if you are asking me i think the like i said skeletal structure took me 22 days from there uh on and off uh, discounting the breaks in between i would say the screenplay got <clears throat> ready in about 6 months but then in that 6 months we had i think four versions of the climax and we had 2000 plus pages of uh, research we had enough lawyers on our discussion table we met retired judges we met uh, cops uh yeah it was actually endless nothing was strenuous we, we just thought bringing i'm i'm a academically i'm a lawyer myself so it was Ooh, easy access wow. for me to yeah to get to a lot of these people and um you know for for a long time there was so much misrepresentation of courts in films right and the kind of language and I, it so much so that during our uh some of our test shows a few people said i don't think this is how they talk in courts this man had never been to a court he had only seen courts in films so he said no no i think you have to redo this i this is not how they talk in courts i had to convince him paringa now our lawyer i have sat in courts this is actually no 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 i people want to understand this this was how it was but uh, i i relished and took pride of the fact that we might be the first to showcase uh, a court language in in a manner as uh, real as possible it's still fictional but as real as possible i, I think we we were uh, happy to sort of drive that uh, equation forward right okay. i think i think i even i got that feeling while watching the film because uh, it was new it was very fresh to me and new to me because the only other time i've seen such maybe real representation was in kadesi vevasai which also released very recently but it mm. has some dramatization as well but you have stripped the dramatization ev- away from the script i really liked that i really i really appreciate that because you did not dramatize it anywhere not be with the reactions right. that you were saying the 360 degree view which you just mentioned of all the sections there is no melodrama how uh, badi in his review bharatwaj rangan in his review he was saying that there was no melodrama at all so i absolutely agree with what he said and i have to confess because when you release when you people release a trailer uh, i've seen the trailer and i was like i was uh, prejudiced against the film saying that ah, i've seen this film many times i don't think i'll be watching this film again. and later when the film released and uh, i saw badi's review i did not see the whole review uh, in the starting portions of his review he, he gives a punch line saying that if this film has worked for him or not so 2 minutes into the review i was done okay this film is good has rocked everyone is saying uh, the film is really good so i waited for the ott release and then then i started to see what they meant because everyone were uh, cha- the the pers- the perspectives that you challenge with your the way you showcase uh, and the, the, the of course the climax because the last 15 minutes i was i was literally shout, uh, saying out loud what the hell is happening what, what's what's going on because i was perplexed i did not expect uh, the perspective shift of gargi so yeah, that's yeah. that's uh, brilliant that's something brilliant uh so while like since we reached climax there is one question that was bothering my mind since i saw the film and i have argued with maybe tens and tens and fifteens of people that my perspective is correct so is is the father a serial offender like no. has he done this before no he is not okay uh okay. okay i thought the father was a serial offender because no uh there is because this, of the mother uh, saying well uh, she shifted job many times right right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Bet, bet, between then, the two of you how many jobs have you shifted zero uh, one <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> i i just tried to keep that natural that was not even a mislead for us i said no the man's worked for 40 years there's a good chance he might have changed two three jobs you know i was just poking at that It was not an attempt to mislead or uh, anything like that. And I'll tell you one more thing, Sandy. See, here, no, I, I, this is not the first time someone's raised this with me. At least you are asking me. There were some people who think they're like, you know, such smart asses. They'll say, no, 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 
pedophiles the moment you know it's a, it's a genetic disorder the moment you see their face you will be able to find out right i said see that is a post mortem comment every pedophile right. who gets arrested in the next one week everybody says that i knew this fellow you see his eyes no i knew this fellow had something i knew this fellow, the, i saw his nose and i knew but nobody makes an effort to pinpoint that while that guy is in the practice of doing that everybody can pass a judgment very easily after that so 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 when when some in fact you know uh, like i said when i started i was with a couple of production houses one of them said if he is a if he's a one time offender or if he's an habitual offender you should include a back story saying this is why this man has become like this so i said okay so if i have the most uh, traumatic back story with you know like arm and composing a song for it will that mean that it is justified what he did exactly. what he did right 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 you now will you finish the back story and say oh so this is why you raped the kid okay now you are cool just go do your thing <laughs> i said no there is nothing that will justify this man's act and i don't want right. to try and tell the audience because that is what anybody will try to do this film is not like that i am not claiming to be that no i will make only this kind no no i said this script warranted a different treatment and somehow i had it in me to stick to it till the end that's all right so until like uh, i saw the film again today so for this discussion so until okay. today i was uh, pretty convinced that uh, he was uh, he was a serial, serial offender, offender because in the uh, because in the last also he says he wants to run away uh, to a different house understandably so because all his surroundings are always judging him uh, yeah. but uh, i question myself today because he was under the influence of alcohol when when he commits the crime so today i that 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 information got registered uh, today and then uh, i saw, sort of question okay maybe because of alcohol he might have done uh, yeah but until today uh, the second time i was pretty convinced that he was a serial offender and i was arguing with people also but yeah yeah that's, that's See, uh, let know. me tell you one more thing the alcohol thing also no uh, i think 9 out of 10 people thought that he did that because he was under the influence of alcohol actually when we wrote that's not what we conceived at all we thought this man pretty much uses the other man's story that he was drunk right he was not drunk at all he uses this other guy's story right you know and he says you know had i complained at that point they would have you know made it even more messy and all that but then when when people assumed that oh shit man look you you get drunk and look at the shit you do i thought okay it's okay i'm not going to clarify that <laughs> let that be there uh-huh. so, yeah right uh, i i i agree, I agree. Uh, because yeah uh, i understand yeah okay let's go from start again <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean uh, just one more point before we before we go back to the start so uh, after i finished watching the film i, I was chat- chatting with sandy and the first question he asked me was do you think he he asked he asked me the same question and i did not give it that much thought and then he st- then the details started to come out where the mother saying about shifting job and then he creating an alibi for his friend so that his friend will be saved and then he goes and does does the crime right so he was thinking like a criminal so maybe this guy is uh, used to thinking in a, in a like a criminal in the past as well so that's what i was connecting the dots so even i was reading too much into it anyway uh, yeah so let's go but maybe every everyone like if you want to let's say we have done uh, we have broke something here. so i think we will try to cover our tracks right before getting scolded yeah i think everyone yeah, does yeah, that yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly so that is the psyche that we were playing on even if you are a first time offender you will come up with some gray lie some fibbing where you try to cover it but i mean i was thinking no this is that's all this man will try to do he cannot be mm-hmm. like scheming and it, he is he of course after doing that there is no white shade to him but you know the, the still that scheming level i didn't want it to be like fbi level scheming that you know will right. will tone down the dosage so right right again right. uh, Uh, his name being brahmanandam like brahma writing stories was that reason like he write stories oh, i wanted <laughs> as wonderful as that seems and i would like to take ownership <laughs> for that please do no the i <laughs> <laughs> the idea was when we were discussing names and uh, my co writer hari when he came up with that 
I liked it because I thought for me it was like okay, so he's the creator of her universe. What if his right. mistakes is, is what if the mistake in her life is there? So so your 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 source point itself could be in question. So that is why I stuck to that, despite Brahmananda not being a very Tamil name. Mm. I I still thought uh, ideologically it will be uh, very interesting to retain it. interesting tani uh right i think i think i like the film more now uh, because i two, two things one thing is one thing that was playing in my head because i i see a lot of crime dramas and all maybe that's because of that influence i think i was pretty convinced with myself that he is a serial offender the second thing i like why i like the film more is any uh, now that i understand your perspective there is no way you are trying to there is no limelight on how why he does that he does that and that is it and that is why uh, that is why i like the film more because we never get into his brain correct right uh, very very much very much uh, amazed by uh, this this he saw this. a small window that's all and he thought hmm. he'll get away with it that that's just right. what he uh, how it started out for him so right right so uh, in the start you uh, so you you put this card right saying that uh, you thank the movies for uh, existing basically so where where did that, that idea come from it's ingenious i thought <laughs> i don't know i mean I, i don't know if i can thank anything for it. i just see I, as as much as i read i, I still think that um, subconsciously you end up seeing and discussing movies so much that it pretty much influenced uh, everything i have done you know uh, the way you make friends uh, i don't know your choice of food and uh, how you want to dress up and sometimes the way you think also so that's the that's why the end card inspired by the movies right so i i think i just wanted to stay truthful to what inspired me that's all <laughs> yeah <laughs> that it was and you know like sandy i i also binge watch on crime shows so much Right. and you know a good crime show within the first episode of the series you know yes. I, and you <laughs> and you know if it's a shitty one you're like okay this just i, I feel bad i had it in my wish list so you removed so even the idea to give out um, a a good script and all that stemmed from one fact that okay we should not take them for granted and in my defense i said two years of lockdown they the entire audience has seen some of the world's best entertainment so if you are going to come and compete in in that genre then you have to do a few things root it in your nativity which is why we stuck to the father daughter sentiment which is something right. that is uh, i'm i can't say it's unexplored in fact if you take sai saigaru's fida itself uh, heavily relied on that but then i thought what is it that that has not been shown let's try and include that into our our narrative and uh, and i think somewhere it worked in our famous in our favor that we didn't show so much of the love between them but we left for mm. it to be understood mm. you know so that sort of uh, we we, uh, we we took a chance and i think uh, considering the artists we have and everything else i think that uh, worked in our favor yeah the tv series yeah. uh, that Uh, got in my mind while i was seeing this was the fall uh, gillian anderson and jamie dormans uh, fall so yeah that is that is the reason why i was i was like okay he is a serial he serial offender but yeah uh, okay i think we should take it from top again <laughs> because there is a lot of details that we must uh, yeah. jump straight into the climax so uh, in the opening scene itself uh, uh, the attender comes and tries to serve water for water and when she when he says tanni and she says uh, gargi responds saying that these guys are writing exam so just lower your voice or something like that but he doesn't listen and he goes in to do the same thing next and she like of course she just gives a slight reaction to that but uh, why was that i mean uh, like what were you uh, trying to do there i mean in any any no i think so those the- a lot of the school bits are tidbits from right <laughs> my recollections of 
Right. There was always that annoying attender who didn't give a shit about the teacher, you know. <laughs> he would just go to the next class and say what he has to anyway. So exactly. that's that's all. Yeah. So see, um, I, I think through the course of writing Gargi, I realized that unless you have um, something, some tidbits to add emotionally, uh, or, or something that you can, these are things that. Uh, 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 uh subconsciously draws an audience it helps them connect with the scene that's happening on the screen you know moments of hey this has happened to me or something like that that's all these were small whatever we we could add we like that we added right right uh, right um so the next scene where uh, she's in the staff room and all of them are discussing about uh the rape that has happened uh so there are two things uh one is that everyone is discussing and everyone are spelling out that journalists uh, they don't have any sense they go to whatever lane they want to break the breaking news but that also explains our psyche right because we are also invested we as an audience uh, who who want to see that news who want to know what what do they do personally uh so it is it is like to yeah imagine if we didn't see it they will not supply no they will right. go and cover unis unicef and other things if the trp is higher for that right if you take um, i'll tell you um, a month ago there was a, a particular incident that happened in tamil nadu with a, a school girl uh, which of course deserved uh, all the attention it got but the way sometimes it was represented and the views it got uh, seemed like uh, i don't know i mean it, it's sort of it works both ways no because we are seeing only their delivery right right i mean uh, it is it is same everywhere i guess for example i was listening to some some podcast recently and they were talking about the gun shootings in usa so the gun viol- whenever the gun violence happens for two days it the gun violence is every, every, everywhere and then it vanishes even just yeah. we can take the example of the war that is currently happening right now it was all over the place for a month or at least for 3 weeks yeah. and then it's gone the war is still happening yeah. but there is no news so, yeah it's not hot anymore yeah unfortunately uh, mm-hmm. and and in that scene itself you see gargi invested in her own world uh, because she's she's pretty much occupied right she goes to school she's she's uh, she's getting married now uh, she's concer- she she has to uh, go and tutor other people for her living and she has aging parents at her home which she has to, she has to take care because the, the very next moment she enters uh, her home she helps she goes and helps her mother so she is yeah. invested in her own world until the world come and hits her uh, which she is not ready for and there you see the courage of gargi right uh, there is no other way there is an option for her she has to take whatever she has head on and she does that uh yeah see uh, i'll tell you again why why it's a very uh, stereotypical way of writing for a protagonist you set up her ordinary world well enough so the moment you put her out of there it should feel like a, a jolt for the audience right. and for the protagonist or for the character also so it's like it's like taking you out of your comfort zone and suddenly putting you elsewhere so that that's why uh, the the beginning 20 minutes is there and i personally like it when a story kick starts sooner so hmm. we put her in the center of the action very soon school home evening that's it so right right uh, i mean uh, going back to the uh, school scene also like because she has uh, a kind of certain kind of traumatic memory she, she was she was saved by her father of course but somewhere in her mind is that playing uh, in her head because when the moment she listens to a girl being raped in the news she kind of doesn't want to go into the details of it she says it might be my my area i don't know and then uh, when she says that the fifth victim is from her area then you put the title card and later in the bus her her memory starts to come back and then you cut back to the flashback so was that the reason yes yes absolutely you know uh, sometimes we tend to uh, shut things off and right. keep it in one place no right, right, 
so that that that's why uh, right. that's why her reaction is so there right 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 uh i think uh, she was trying to protect her sister as well right she was not trying to avoid it yes yeah. Just... yeah somebody uh, who's grown up with a with one or two uh, experiences like that tend to be very protective of right. the younger ones right? yeah. so right she yeah, she even mentions about the yellow dress and then uh you you paid off it yeah. i think it was like then, i was yeah. i was floored by when you paid it off the the yellow color uh, bangle yeah, yeah. no the bangle Thanks as well you. and the dress in the flashback dress so when you paid right, it off right, right, so right. It, okay yeah. this is too good is what i, I thought but Thanks. uh one thing so even though um, brahmanandam gargi's father doesn't look like quote and quote whatever people perceive as speed of file the the, the Maths teacher in the flashback, right from the start, we we sense that he is creepy. Ah, uh, like right from the first shot, was it? Why was that like written in that particular? Because that is because Gargi is remembering him like that. Was that the reason? No, see, you, I, I have barely four or five minutes to uh, show this chapter of her life, so I can't spend time setting up like a normal see there, no. i had to jump start and and get to the point so in our casting itself when i saw him i knew that uh, one mild sense of eeriness will be there if you are able to compose this person the right way and my dop is they knew it so that is why uh, a couple of his shots are actually menacing you know the second time with the ink dropping thing brilliant shot yeah, yeah the the way they had composed was actually menacing like i knew when we saw the rushes i was like okay this this this, this will deliver you know we were sure of that so true i mean the, especially the interrupting shot where he comes behind her and the moment it cuts i mean it was so well uh, directed it was too good yeah and uh, Thank you. Thank i uh, when i was watching it the first time uh, i thought gargi having a similar back story to what happened with the 9 year old girl i think i thought it was too convenient even badi mentioned this but again the payoff was too brilliant the other the other thing i thought it was convenient but you did not go that way was the uncle that uncle she knows who is a very big budget lawyer 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 yeah yeah, yeah. so you did not go that way so and i was thinking about this this film called uh, a time to kill i i watched this film very recently so because of the recency bias i was thinking of that film so in that film also the underdog comes and saves uh, the victim there right a time to kill is uh, sandra bullock right right sandra bullock sandra bullock matthew mcgonagall right, right, and right. Uh, samuel right, jackson right, right, right. so samuel jackson yeah so, his daughter is the one who right. uh, yeah exactly so i thought like so so many parallels started to pop in my mind because i mean recency bias but uh, i thought you did not go the same, you you went the same way where the uh, underdog guy comes and comes for the rescue and So that was also nice, and also Kali Venkat's character switching on the fuse and light bulb going on in in the in the room. That was a nice touch. Actually, my inspiration for Kali Venkat's character is, of course, a lot of advocates I've seen. Uh, if you ever been to the court premises, no, there's always a few advocates who's who'll perpetually be near the tea shops. They'll have a batch of friends in the morning who'll come get them tea, cigarettes. afternoon somebody will come take them out for lunch uh, evening somebody will be asking them how to get registration done how to get this done and the evening they they go back home you know these guys sometimes they have uh, overgrown long coats it, it will come till the knuckle you know characters like these and uh, and of course in in film reference you if you ask me my my, my all time uh, greatest a lawyer reference uh, will be uh, joe pesci from my cousin vinny i i i think that's one of the that and uh, if you see paul newman in the verdict i think these two are some of the best character a uh, lawyer characters ever written paul newman i think i think that the, the, the verdict is i think it's sydney lumet so it's very grammatical in terms of screenplay but my cousin vinny joe pesci is in that was I think I'll, I go back to seeing that film easily some some three hundred four hundred times, and uh, there are ways of narrating a backstory which that film uses. 
if you haven't seen it please watch it it's it's one of the best films out there if you ask me yeah we'll have to watch it yeah, yeah. and uh, also uh, one more one more point uh, when you set up the court the first time the court hearings happen so you, you put a simulation simulated uh, long take and in one of the one of the lawyers he is narrating a story to some one of his friends he is also a lawyer so is that is that your character did you rip it off <laughs> actually uh, a lot of people think uh, i mean saw that and they said we decoded the film he is actually talking about the protagonist because in the tamil version the voice over says that you know this guy is saying yeah, no much everybody knew about it the press the media everybody but this girl didn't know yeah, about yeah, yeah. it uh, even the villain knew but so off the record it we were trying to tell anate's story in in that narration <laughs> it had nothing to do with gargi but so many people thought no they already gave the clue that this is oh gargi is like i was like okay happy accident number 2 i'm not going to rectify it and them think that way so i let it be so, yeah. interesting <laughs> yeah yeah right. um the thing one is more... see that art sorry yeah, uh, good, art good. is about perspectives you know when you write and send it out into the world right. you cannot put a stop on how people perceive it so as is happy right so. <laughs> right uh, so after gargi uh, goes to the police station and she is coming back so, uh, so there is by that time the news is not out that gargi's father is the one that has been arrested but she sees someone in the balcony and she sort of feels nervous uh, mm. because uh, like she knows that there ha- there will be all of these uh, judgments uh, and she is going to be under the under the lens from tomorrow she is, so she already feels nervous i thought that shot was beautifully done uh, from gargi's perspective uh, because uh, let's say let's say we have i have done like i have broken something in my house right and right before my mother comes i st- i, i start to get like i start to feel insecure Little, right yeah. Huh. yeah i mean now i'll get caught now i'll get call is what i'll i'll start to feel in my uh, in so that that on a bigger lens was shown beautifully through that shot it was just a two second shot but that conveyed so yeah. so much yeah yeah um see um there were a couple of things that we we tried and of course since uh my first film was a uh, was a remake so even though i rewrote it it was still a borrowed idea but this one i i i went all out to write it however i want yeah so sometimes what we did was um, when we wanted to drive home an emotion we'd have like we didn't we didn't have three scenes for it but imagine it's uh, the the number the name of the scene is scene 3 to derive a particular emotion we would have 3a 3b and 3c Hmm. where all these three things put together is what would drive the emotion that sandy you just mentioned so for me in that the moment she she leaves the station no there's actually an elaborate scene where the writer and the si uh, look at her through the windows and the writer is saying uh, sir i think this woman is going to cause trouble uh, so the si says you know obviously you know even i know it and the writer saying i think we have to do something about it sir she is not going to leave this and it ends with the essay saying ponniya epdi summa iduvan she the daughter she won't then followed following that is ahalya's character watching her leave hmm. uh then in the jeep is when she's she looks at familiar surroundings and tells the jeep driver ana ana inge nirthirunga i have to get down here then the last one was those people uh the, watching her and she hearing the tv right yeah yeah so for us it was it was that's how we try to package it okay okay fear will increase fear will increase uh, in fact after she comes back home is another big scene which we trimmed and went directly to you know her sleeping and waking up with the stone right uh, pelting right right so um, i mean uh, how long was the first fi- first cut of your uh, film 3 or 10 minutes oh wow <laughs> <laughs> interesting i mean i saw that cut and that itself uh, i knew that okay this is uh, see not the question of working or not working you know 
it's it's uh, you rather be like uh, it's difficult but you rather take this call to lose a crore on the edit table than have zero income in theaters mm. so mm. Uh, yeah. that's where the two songs went and uh, all these things which we are planning to release i think over the next week or something hopefully somebody is going to watch it now <laughs> right <laughs> and someone will write down how did they remove this scene right. could they remove this scene and all that so i'm waiting to read those comments <laughs> yeah then they they'll be comments of both sides obviously yeah, yeah. <laughs> some of the scenes we actually like like before indran takes up the case he has a beautiful incident that happens in the pharmacy which is when he realizes that you no know, it's time for him to go out and looking start looking right uh right. it was actually something that that had happened to somebody i knew and you know it's not the usual build up and hey go and take this up no but this is a <clears throat> so he works at the can i explain this sure sure is sure. that okay sure sure okay so he works at the pharmacy right so the pharmacy is run by one person and along with him there's another coworker in the pharmacy who's really old right so uh, uh the 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 moment where gargi comes to ask him ipo na enna pandrudu and he says you know i don't know and please don't come out like this and all that and he goes off inside and gargi continues to walk so the moment he goes inside he stands in the counter and he's wondering mm, what do i do then a, 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 a lady a customer walks in she asks for a particular cream mm. uh, and the pharmacy owner says illa ma the cream illa and she says i've come from far i can't walk to another pharmacy just see yeah, whether you have this and he says i i have a shop to to sell why will i have it and not give it to you i'll write down the name of the cream call come after 6 o'clock i'll i'll give this so there's this elderly gentleman who's sitting behind the rack in the pharmacy who's the coworker he's eating he's right. eating curd rice and beetroot and he drops it there comes and takes the prescription from her and he sees the name and he goes inside the counter and comes and gives one and says peru company mattu da maathirku saapadu kapra onnu kaalaila onnu saapidungal so she thanks him and leaves and the pharmacy owner says uh, you, you know enough to own a shop why the hell are you still working here and that's when he says i should have done that 30 years ago now i am very comfortable here it's mm. at that point that indran realizes oh shit i'm going to become like this fellow it did actually come out very well and kali was very upset inna sir and the scene eduthitingla nu but the thing is when you the moment you feed that that means audience is no he's going to take up the case right right so we took a choice that you edit it now and show him outside the door in the night so for everybody it's a surprise oh mm. this guy has come so ipdi nariya we had to but when you write you can't miss that no it is the it is the organic narrative what happens right, what right. happens right 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 so on the edit table we lost about a crore my ep was not very happy with that but <laughs> this right. is what it is so i mean i mean it right. works it works better if and after after seeing the film and then when you narrated the whole scene so i think it works better after you edit it out on the table so yeah i'm, yeah, I'm not losing yeah. money but i'm just saying <laughs> 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 this is other thing that we did you know we completed our first edit in november of last year okay. uh, that is a 3 hour 10 minute cut that's the 3 hour 10 minute cut um we had close to 100 test shows where we would i so i stay in the fourth floor of a building that's on ttk road one of chennai's most uh, populous and roads like behind this is poets garden where rajini and all stay adjacent to my apartment is kamal sir's uh, old house which is why i took up the place the the landlady came and showed from the balcony that's kamal sir's balcony i said petra advance i'm taking this house <laughs> <laughs> so so the point being I, I, if i go down there are two tea shops one to my left and one to my right so we'd go pick up random people from the tea shop saying uh, you have to us you can watch the film uh, then a lot of people you know like cross section i i from uh, people i play badminton with people who uh, 
some of my my sister's friend who used to be a teacher cross section we got my, my the guy who supplies materials to my dentist got a lot of people to come and watch so over a period of uh, say 2 months we got nearly 100 test shows and we took a lot of feedback from that you know uh, your film person will say lag adikudhu sir romba lag a irukku first half lag a irukku the common man will say sir interval romba late a varudhu that's the difference he'll say sir interval romba late a varudhu so that's when you realize okay so lag irukku okay fine <laughs> let's cut so we again because it was a controlled production i fucking just did whatever i want however i thought will it will help the film and you know they'll say you should not show and all that no they'll say illa kaata kudadu first of all climax reveal i don't know that i said you know there's so much people are busy with so many things i don't think personally somebody will set out to ruin my film it's okay <laughs> so uh, then i showed it to a few film people like my my constant go to people here are uh, 96 director prem then balaji dharnidharan who made nadula konja pakkatha kanam seetha kathi then uh, ashwin who did uh, game over ashwin charan and yeah and my yes so these are people like i constantly go to and they bounce ideas so and rakshit rakshit is one of my close friends you know uh, but although rakshit was able to see it only in the last because i wanted uh, virgin opinions from two or three people who had no idea what sort of visuals the film had so uh, based on a lot of these opinions is how we kept trimming down 3 hmm. or 10 minutes like they came down came down came down then in may when we had almost fixed the release date is when we made that the most crucial cut of 15 minutes it was one chunk so i said no it's okay it's not landing and you rather let it go than stay obsessive and say no 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 i like the song which is the song chinamamiya song right because the moment everybody heard that everybody was tripping they were like dude this can be a party song this is going to be like this and this and i had already paid the gentleman to buy it from i have already sold the audio to sony so i was like <laughs> shit it's going to have us so many repercussions but i said no it had to go and i decided then i have a very supportive executive producer so all the tough conversations i say paddu deal with it i'm not going to deal with this so <laughs> it gets routed through him nice. uh, there should have been a hard, so hard call we, yeah yeah so that's how it came to uh two hours and 18 minutes which itself some people said konja length irukke cut pannirukalam and i was like yo vandu edit table la vandu paar evlo footage irukke right right so uh, how how much uh, footage did you actually shoot like 3 or 10 minutes aside see i shot nothing apart from what i wrote whatever hmm. i wrote i shot i didn't like feel on the spot and say in not scene edukla that shit you know like I, i can't i have to know before i go to shoot that this is solid right, right, right maybe right. there you go you improvise because we were live song and kali and uh, sayers there uh, when they are in a scene their chemistry is fantastic like all i would have to do is change the angle okay hmm. one angle done let's get one more perspective because they would beat the shit out of each other to compete they were like uh like uh, you could see like the moment kali is in the frame sai's energy will be different level the moment sai the like kali will be like i have to kill this woman today <laughs> so it was it was actually a party to i mean uh, ironically the nature of the film being opposite but it was actually an absolute holiday to uh, shoot with these two and jp and sarvanan and the inspector pratap all of them they were absolutely uh, right Yeah, the chemistry was actually like showing. I mean, I mean, I I enjoyed all the scenes they were yeah. having together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Constantly, right? Um, so, mm, so right after she wakes up with that stone being pelted, right? And uh, you sh- you sh- you show a camera guy who who peeks into uh peeks into her home. She he finds a hole and peeks into that. So he in his mind, right? In his mind, he is basically covering the news. and sort of let's say let's say he's taking a moral high ground saying that i am bringing the news to people but by doing I'm that i'm the first i'm the first but but by doing that he's he has broke a couple of laws himself he's trespassing over he's invading someone's privacy which 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 gargi can actually sh- sue 
but in india people don't sue for these purposes but they in, but we can actually sue for that uh that is very beautifully said and uh, right after that when she goes out right uh, the media person storm on her and you show a dog that just like uh she reacting uh, it yeah it just stands on its feet like resembling the media people when she comes out of that house uh, i think that sequence was again a stand out uh, for me thank you so so that that dog is is the one that she she would she would always feed on her way back right right so it sort of lays outside her house and it's just really shock is like hey who are all these people you know that that's about it and it actually had a longer role uh, to play every time she comes and um, to the house but uh, we trimmed it it, it couldn't stay <laughs> right i mean uh, so the dog there is obvious parallels right uh, the victim is also uh, fond of dogs and she goes to feed biscuits to the dog but she uh, she gets trapped glover absolutely in the crime and there is a parallel for this yeah. as well and uh, again the other parallel is uh, the blood when which happens at the crime scene and the ink the ink uh, which yes. flows so so i'll i'll tell you yeah, before you list out any further similarities uh the 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 so so gargi um so in in the um ramo vedik era uh, when when no women was allowed to step into a court and and give their opinions there were only two saints who were given that power two female saints one is a saint by name gargi vachaknavi and the other is a saint by name maitri so in our film Sai's name is Gargi, and the victim's name is Maitri. That comes out only at one scene where Sarunan comes to the house and wants to attack, but sees Akshara, uh, starts thinking of that as his own daughter, and says Maitri, Amma Maitri. But he's in tears when he's saying that, and we muted it over a music. Mm-hmm. So in our idea, they were actually the same person, right? Gargi and and Maitri. But that's for writers' understanding. That's all we. In fact, when uh, Rani Devi sir saw this, he said, "You have to tell this in a scene. How can you have this and not tell this in a scene?" I said, "I was a little cocky, and I said, 'No, sir, that other filmmakers will do. I don't want to do that. I want.'" He said, "Yenna gautam the the nalla erke di. Angya the solir kala meninga abdi na." I said, "Illa sir, just for our." Which is why I, I initially I said, "I love the idea of nomenclature," right. and I put that in the. in the part where i told you i took 6 minutes to 6 months to do it because mm. me and my curator both he also loves coming up with fancy names uh you know so me too i i i like naming for, with a reason that's all right right gives a lot of depth to your uh, film and ob- obviously to the research you have put in so brilliant brilliant yeah and helps the actors when you tell them this no some of them had tears in their eyes my god is this how you name me so it sort of they it helps them they build worlds around them mm-hmm. you no know, this is who, especially with sai and kali and all no uh, whatever you describe to them they build their own worlds uh, a lot of the hostility that you see between kali and indran kali and uh, sai in the film is something that those two developed by themselves it was not my instruction they developed that as it went along and and i just aided it like increase decrease it, mm-hmm. it, they felt you no know, kali said sir indran sibdida gargi said you know this is how i would react i can't be sympathetic just because this man took up this case because my father is correct no you should be lucky that you are fighting for my father that is what she has going on and this fellow is like i'm not going to beg you you know because i don't have a case right. but i'm still a little scared of you so that and all it was fantastic when uh, when when they um uh you know built something and right it was nice i i watched it grow so. right. neither neither of them are backing down basically so they they just yeah, being them yeah. in their own ways in their own ways yes mm. right right uh so she goes to court and uh, like after this she goes to court and there is a facade that is going on in the court outside uh, every human yes. rights organization is there rightfully so yes. because the incident is yeah. as such 
uh and uh, initially you don't show that the father the girl's father is the one who comes to uh murder murder brahmanandam but later that is revealed yeah. and the police officer yeah. protects his hide, hide identity because he, un- he sort yeah. of understands the emotion uh yeah. what there in you you sort of uh, there are these people in white clothes right resembling a political party uh, like is yeah. is that like they want they also want a piece of cake in that moment that is that was the idea. absolutely that's all that's all that's all right also the police guy i think uh, he is one of the most empathetic police character i've seen on film because he empathizes with gargi he empathizes with the victim's father uh and yeah. he, empath- he empathizes with his higher official saying that okay i understand sir you are, you have pressure from upstairs but i but what I, is I more important do- <laughs> yeah yeah brilliantly played also i think it's very very nice yeah yeah he is actually an army captain uh, that gentleman mm-hmm. Uh, captain pratap he uh, quit his uh, military services to pursue his dreams and so when i met him for some strange reason i knew this guy would play the role i didn't audition him but through the course of our conversation he revealed that he was one of the masked men in uh, ashwin's game over oh okay Ooh. interesting so he is there for the whole film but the fellow can't show his face are are <laughs> so i called up ashwin and i said uh, ashwin this fellow has come and i somehow with feeling that he might do ashwin knew the script so i i said i think he's going to do benix's role well and ashwin said good i think uh, it's good only because even though he was masked in my film the fellow put an effort to you know um uh, you, you know it's not a junior artist when you see game over so hmm. that i think uh, he he started on the first day so because he was facing a camera for the first time in his life dreams and all that but when you still face it it's it's different no but then uh, i got him home and i told him how we can approach and all and then he was just even surya sir actually asked like yaar and the paye a lot of people told me that you know i mean it's not like it's not like oh wow he was robert in row is like everybody was like we can so believe that this guy is a cop in some right. station right. you know that was the idea and that we were happy with very believable yeah i mean i hope he doesn't yeah. get typecasted next because like once a cop role like i told him and he's already picked two police roles i told him pratap what the hell dude he said sir adha da varudha na enna pandra he's already doing two police roles he said so okay what to do right yeah uh yeah and also a brilliant uh, subversion if i may say because a transgender judge presiding over the case and of of, of course the payoff was too good like almost almost a visual worthy moment uh, i mean, I was watching alone but if i were in a theater i would have visited for that <laughs> in fact that her scenes are the ones which got like maximum visuals in in tamil right. we were very pleasantly surprised and- even from satyam to kasi to everywhere which is your essentially your uh, multiplex to you know bnc center you're not so yeah. multiple yeah yeah so you were very happy she was also very happy but uh, terrific applause uh, her lines got yeah yeah two dutch characters i am very fond of right now are one from kadaisi vesa and one from this uh, gargi mm. yeah <laughs> too good too good <laughs> <laughs> so manikandan is my senior from my film institute oh okay, okay. i actually had a say. very big uh, theory for that judge and many people actually like uh, we had a podcast going on on kadasi wife and i said my theory and these two were like does manikandan know that uh, whatever you say <laughs> but yeah, yeah that is for another day <laughs> so uh, when i told you um, there are four versions of the story earlier yeah uh in one of the versions the pre climax and climax was driven by a transgender totally different from what we have right now uh i think in one of my discussions with uh, balaji or prem i don't remember they said you know i, I think i think you have to go a different way and and, and that sort of pushed me and hari into uh, into a space and we started thinking and then there was something that i came up with and that's how this climax happened the current climax uh but in all our discussions the transgender element kept coming back 
again and again to us so in a very earlier version of the script the judge was actually a cameo by a popular artist then i realized mm. that's maybe the most cliched way to do something and then one night i had an idea what if we put this judge there with this person as the judge there and uh, so theoretically that's how it started right and boy we were happy i think uh, single handedly that has been one of the most talked about points of the film from uh, from from their side from everybody who seen uh, and i'm so happy that i i am taking ownership for that 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 uh, you know um, we finished shooting and in two months the first transgender judge was appointed and right. uh, i was so happy that you know we got to show it i mean we got to shoot that before it actually happened so interesting <laughs> yeah that's all yeah i was just adding to that bit hmm. right when she is coming home right the fiance comes and the fiance is like let's just go out of here let's go to bangalore along with your sister and mother and sister uh, mother because by that time we actually are still in a doubt like we are we are pretty much in a doubt that gargi's father is innocent and um, he, she has been framed for something and but uh, from his point of view why does he want to get into all of this mess right he wants to just be with you no see yeah absolutely he is being very right in what he's thinking he's he's not trying to save the day or be macho or any of those things he's just there is a common joe who can think like that no he's he's just trying to be that yes yeah correct and everyone thinks like that right uh, the lawyers uh, the media people yeah. everyone everyone in their place are right uh, even the school uh, the school is also doing the same thing right she they can't appoint yeah. gargi because everyone wants to distance herself even though uh, the law says that a lawyer should be there for everyone uh, even though they are guilty still the lawyers association they have uh, they have posted posters going on for kali saying that you are already dead and all when yes, he is going yes. to court and all. Uh, even though it is written in the law that everyone should have a lawyer the issue is such sensitive that everyone wants to distance themselves and there are actually so called uh, unhidden rules that are passed on saying that you shouldn't be involved in this uh, that, that sort of explains the psyche of individuals also like we we want to stay away from trouble uh, but also like we we start empathizing with gargi as well that because because we sort of we we are seeing the entire movie through gargi's lens we we start yeah. empathizing with characters that oh, oh shit she is, she is she is in a really bad phase right now yeah yeah true yeah that that is the reason why i said the whatever the wholesome experience right that that sums up the entire movie because ev- from every pers- every perspective Uh, in a regular commercial movie that the, the fiance would be like main dekh leta hu i i'll take care of everything you can just just sit back and relax Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> right and also during your right it's with sorry sorry please continue yeah i'll just finish it and during her conversation yeah. with her fiance you see the conviction of her daughter right the man yeah. uh, the man is her idol basically she she yeah. grows up with her father and that is why we constantly see that photo between him and like her father and him uh, over the, oh, in her house and yes in a day she can't just be like any other people saying that oh my father is always like this she has to believe this yes. right and that is Absolutely. shown multiple multiple times and very beautiful so i didn't want that to be told i only want that to be shown so you take the derivation home and coupled with her performance i think that we we were able to achieve that also on a lot of places it's very important to place the clichés on the table for that scene and then you knock them off and take it in a different direction right the right. ending dialogue right uh, ne- next time when you are coming to meet me come come and meet me in the home and not somewhere home. in the corner yeah that that was like uh, knocking it off uh, the park we say right yeah <laughs> yeah that was uh, actually the dialogue was a lengthier one but i told sai what you would say you say that i don't want it to be said verbatim so in the tamil version version she says 
நெக்ஸ்ட் டைம் இதெல்லாம் வேணாம் வீட்டுக்கு வா ஐ வாஸ் திங்கிங் யூனோ த டைலாக் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி நெக்ஸ்ட் டைம் இப்படி இங்கெல்லாம் நீ மீட் பண்ணாத குறுக்க மீட் பண்ணாத மீட் பண்ணோம்னா என் வீட்டுக்கு வா பட் இன் அ வே ஷி செட் இட் ஐ திங்க் ஈவன் இஃப் ஐ ஹேட் மியூட்டட் தேர் பீப்புள் மைட் ஹவ் அண்டர்ஸ்டுட் வாட் ஷி வாஸ் ட்ரைங் டு சே Uh, that sometime i think that's the beauty of live song and of mm. course terrific performers uh, it's the beauty if you have that no uh, and by the way it was 550 when we shot that that's a single take we we did My. not uh, change angles no we had two cameras we kept one for her one for him it's a single take i finished that i didn't even check the monitor i said pack up Nice. So they were like, sir, 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 monitor one paring a light. I said, light all the DLA upon the gas. Shot, okay. Right. We'll finish that. So you shot, for, you shot with sing sound for the film. Yeah. 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 Tamil is sing sound. Right. That's what, I mean, I, I've seen, I mean, I've seen it second time today. So for the discussion. So I had this doubt, okay, the sound is so good. And in many places, I, the performance is actually showing through their voice be it sai pallavi yeah, yeah. or with kali venkata or the other actor so yeah. i had, I had an excellent sound team oh yeah, yeah. Pro- he was uh, raghav yeah raghav and uh, he brought in an operator from mumbai the boom operator they were they were very very good right right and also adding to some like uh, when she is coming back home or uh, in some places where you place her in in mids or long shots and there is no other people there i i had this constant dread in my head saying that oh something is going to happen someone is going to attack her because the, the dramatic yeah. dramatic factor comes in yeah 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 so yeah. i think yeah. uh, was that the intention of like framing no no right? no 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 not at all see i i i always wanted her to belong somewhere that's all but lot of people told me this that after a point when you showed her amidst people i was thinking shit are you mad woman go inside why are you out with mm. in the mm. crowd so right right because uh, people keep saying even the police says and the other character also says that leave the town yeah, yeah. you are not safe here so that adds yeah. to the dread in you know at the back of the head so. yeah yeah right and there is one easter egg i saw uh, when she is walking back from the school uh, you write fargo okay. on the so blackboard with fargo yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah even yeah. fargo yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i think that's a, this is a film that i'm obsessed with so uh, i think the genesis of my inclination towards being part of the film industry probably started with that film so i just put it there <laughs> right. right in fact that's uh, sai garu's handwriting oh she oh. said i'll write it and she wrote it <laughs> i put it up there right Right. I haven't seen the film, but I've seen the series. Okay. I've, I should watch film the film. Ah, okay. Film no, you should watch the, f- yeah, you should watch the, 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 f- the, the only film. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Series is also good equally, except the last one, the one with Chris Tucker. We only saw, we saw three shows, Chris Rock. three seasons. The three seasons one is too good. Like, so yeah. you seen, didn't see the one with uh, Chris Rock. The, there's a fourth season, right? No. I don't know. Ah, I mean, I don't know. That's, no, 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 no. that's I, in my opinion, that's the weakest film. see i don't know how much of the film will be like that for you right now because you've seen so much of entertainment past that but when when i saw it i think i was in high school uh mm-hmm. when i saw it and i was blown not because i was blown because a large part of it i didn't understand why we are reacting to to a very normal scene in a different way it's a very normal scenes like it's a kidnap gone wrong there's a accidental death and you know all that but <clears throat> you will know when you watch it just the way you react to a few scenes left me shocked and i think right. that's how i mean i right. I've, i've told him to watch the film multiple times but he only watches tv series so <laughs> <laughs> okay moving on <laughs> uh, uh, also uh, uh, one more point uh, badi in his review he, he pointed out the parallels of father daughter relationships at multiple stages right uh, the the policeman has the victim has a father daughter relationship and of course gargi uh, but the mothers are either absent or they are dead so uh, yeah. from a writing standpoint what was your intention of taking away the female right okay just convenience i'll tell you why because um we, for a long time we debated the possibility of gargi's mother suspecting this man of something 
not that he's been an habitual offender but you know one sort of ways there could be giveaways of some hmm. sort of weirdness or something uh but then if you begin to address that then you you have to give that a past a present what is she going to do about it she is going to influence gargi now in her decision making and everything so that becomes a film story by itself there's so I, much of content in just her mother's narrative so for convenience i said screw it let's keep her uh, as minimum as possible make her a naive person let's not uh, bring her into the 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 you know the uh, the the dubious nature of the film let's not include her let's keep her for convenience that's all right, right. not bring her into the gray 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 area yes 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 right so thereby uh, gargi is on uh, you know on a very objective lens and like she is seeing everything yes. through the objective lens and then she shifts her perspective when the true truth comes out right yes yes so the idea was again everybody should access uh, all the information at the same time protagonist mm. and the audience only right. at one point protagonist overtakes that is the climax climax which is why that is shown in uh, uh, edit right. you know you go cut to uh, the past yeah. it's just a small science that i applied that's all right there is there is one dialogue that defines the entire movie uh, spoken by a police officer he says don't use morality for your convenience uh, the senior police officer yeah, the says acp yeah that yeah, that ACP was ACP. like but like even that doesn't have i mean there is no background music as such that is elevating the scene or something but when i was seeing yeah. today i thought that man this this dialogue is the entire film uh, because every yeah. every human being is hypo hypocritic right everyone is great yeah, yeah, as such yeah. absolutely absolutely if you are caught you are fucked till then you are free yes applies to everybody basically <laughs> correct and uh, yeah that was brilliant thank you i, I, I yeah yeah i, I don't know how many fun writing that so yeah 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 i understood that <laughs> <laughs> yeah also uh, go and since sandy mentioned about score so the way you cue govin vasanta's bgm i think it's beautiful because you let this you let your cinematographer and the actors including the writing say the emotion first and then you allow yeah. uh, govin vasanta to take over because especially when the first time when benix reveals the information to gargi you wait for few seconds gargi's emotion changes it registers to her and yeah. then you lift it yes it yes beautiful yes. i was floored yeah. <laughs> there so uh, you know prithvi the uh, so govin 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 is like family to me i have known him since he was uh, govin men like taikodum bridge i've stayed with him in kochi like many years ago when he was still only taikodum bridge uh, he was not into 96 or anything then he was still doing violin for premam in fact one of the best bits in that breakup music in premam and all is going to violin oh when nevin steps out of the house and right, right, right. one long take of cry uh, all that is going oh wow okay. so uh, so he he was one of the first people i narrated to going then renju's wife like a kid sister to me uh so they were very emotional with the with the script uh but then you know the process took two years to shoot and covid multiple seasons and all that happened so finally i sent it and he did the one version of the music and then for the final version of the composing me my editor shafiq and govin shifted into uh, we shifted into govin's house basically me and shafiq my editor so govin would be in his composing room shafiq took up the other room where it would be editing and i would be juggling between the, the the two rooms we would finalize the edit will come here he'll do the music and so we sort of it was a very superb work experience to be in the same house and uh, i don't know how to say it it, uh, it was nice it was um, very liberating to see otherwise it's a very tedious process no you have to do you have to upload then you have to send it to your editor that fellow will upload download some we transfer it has to go to your music director <laughs> then somebody will call up and say real one varla no what you are doing so all shit will happen so this time we were just we were super in tune we ate together we 
Uh, right. It was very very nice, and it also helped that Govind and Shafiq are working on Padavat Nevin's next film. Right. So they already had a solid rapport going on, and me and Shafiq, my editor, have a solid rapport. Touch wood, and Govind, who I've known for years, so it was very healthy collaboration. Uh, we sat uh, that house itself for a week, and reel by reel, <coughs> we took and a lot of these places where you feel that. oh music starts later than not that and all we decided there i told him leave this let there be you know um, silence here start it a little later so it has mm. more effect and that, that and all we took the call uh, on the go and did it was super it was truly 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 amazing okay. <laughs> uh, i am a big fan of fish rock of taikodum uh, oh okay okay <laughs> okay yeah nice yeah. Uh, so the there's a montage song in the first half just before the court sequence start no right um so me and go in both like irish rock okay right so if you see the opening is actually more like a bagpiper song people mm. th- thought it's a death song but actually <laughs> it's it's, a, it's like a bagpiper uh, song right. and that's how it started right 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 i mean uh, also uh, you were talking about editing right shafiq uh, as your close friend yeah. so e- e- uh, even he goes uh, he uses uh, the dialogue from a, a scene ahead and he 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 uh, paste it before yeah. for example when they are yes. returning from the victim's apartment uh, so the dialogue yeah. is from the next immediate scene but it is it is yes. from before so that were his calls or he was reading your mind and you were no 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 those were his calls he did that by himself um so he has this knack of um, he he sometimes you know um, if it's one scene he'll give me three versions of the scene where the kind of edit will tell you whose perspective the scene is mm. the same scene can become what if you are invested on gargi in this scene the same scene can become can make kali the hero of that scene uh, so that way uh, he he was able to crack uh, that very well right also help that we had so many angles so <laughs> right I, i i think the the brilliant i mean uh, one of my favorite scenes from the film is the where the one where the altercation be, uh, outside the court in the in the start so uh, it is from gargi's uh, perspective right she is feeling all the emotions and then it cuts to the next scene where she's already in uh, uncle's uh, office but then it mm, it only right. breaks after uh, some person father like, gets hit, hit on, on the bottle exactly. yeah yeah so there yeah, was a great yeah. call yeah yeah it's written differently but he said no we have to club it as one scene you cannot prolong pathos for so long and that was his call right right beautiful right. yeah and uh, the other thing that uh, resounded with me was uh, brahmanam mentions that every day he has like there will be 60 works that will be given to him uh, so that basically like, there is like there is his job is just being a watchman right but other than that he is being used for uh, basically the point being dignity of labor which uh, hardly people get in india and that was also like it was just mentioned in a one dialogue and it was taken over yeah yeah, uh, yeah. and recently i've seen multiple videos wherein uh, people are going and slapping watchmen and all in delhi kurga in one, one of the videos i saw uh, that that is why this this resonated well with me today while i was watching it again yeah so something we try to add yeah i mean that is true mm. in many cases also because like the watchmen get uh, have to do extra work which is not in their description also so Yes, and yes. and it works well for his uh, narrative uh, narrative because he is trying to get yes, sympathy yes, there helps. basically. Yes, yes, manipulating uh, Kali Minkat's character there. Yeah, and Gargi also. Yeah. Gargi as well. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, wh- one thing I wanted to ask you: so, why was Sir Roger Deakins' uh, reference put in that way? <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing. <laughs> I don't know. See, so, it, it, these. Uh, can't call it an easter egg sometimes these things only give you an extra high when you write yeah, right so like <laughs> to be a lot more like that or that yeah um, i mean he's obviously i i regard him as 
one of the most notorious cinematographers out there so okay notorious is a very interesting word uh, like i don't elaborate? think anybody could have made uh, sicario uh, such a fascinating film right 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 i don't think any other dop could have made sicario what uh, how what, of course the music also but then i don't think anybody else uh, could have shot sicario and it would have looked so menacing ah <laughs> it was actually a very slender script we've seen hundred of those films right yeah. but it's just the way he captured uh what made it that's when i realized that how much difference it can make the way you mm-hmm. you know show your uh, locales right right so yeah sandy yeah i guess i i guess that is it from my side right pretty much covered all the points that i wrote yeah right uh, uh so when uh, when i first watched the film and then i mean i i have uh, there is a thing called letterbox it's a website where you log, log your films so okay it, it's like a social media but just for films so when when whenever i watch a film i just write some my thoughts in that website so when i was describing my feelings after watching the film i use this word uh, meditative and a uh, few days uh, few days later i mean yesterday i guess i was watching uh, bharadwaj rangan's interview uh, sorry a review of the film and he used the word uh, peaceful for your film so yeah i think i think uh, we both meant it the same way because the frames and the colors yeah. and the palette yeah. we were going for and the whole feel yeah, we, and going back to the wholesome yeah. point which we mentioned in the start so yeah, that yeah. actually we wanted it. to have a sort of a um, uh, zenness attached to it mm. but mm. at the same time you want to feel like shit something might happen now till then mm. we leave you in peace so that is what we tried i think that i think it i think it worked so true yeah agree uh, it, it definitely uh, worked at least for me and for sandy as well so <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. So yeah like you're not trying to panic the audience by showing your film. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And because some a script of this nature usually has the gimmick shots. You know, and I said uh I mean that might be a good way to show but I thought then what else are you see you're inspired by a lot of films for a certain reason no and if you can't use it then uh if you still have to shoot the conventional way then you could have not seen all those films in your life mm. i said screw it we are putting all of it to good use <laughs> right just do it the way you want so right uh also uh, i i i like the payoff of the biscuit box i mean like, it, it hits you in the right. gut very much Bec- so but yeah becomes a medicine box, yeah. yeah and that uh, i think that, that was the only scene of- that i teared up while writing yeah that person performance was good yeah It's the only scene that I think I I almost teared up while writing uh, when he sits and explains there. Right. Right. Mm. Great. Great. Almost. I repeat. Very very powerful, right? Like it is yeah. just pretty much on the face, uh, rightfully yeah. so also because he is a single father and he is the one she looks up yeah. to and she he is she was not able to take care of. Her. Uh, There's one advantage we had while writing. for uh, saranan's character is uh, the fact that i have told this earlier also in interviews his grief would always reach the scenes much before his character comes mm. so when he comes itself the audience is already feeling you the shit that this man has gone through sure. you know so the once once you your once some the the primary emotion of your character if it reaches the screen before you can bring the character no personally it's a victory if you are already rooting for this guy then it's a victory so i told sarunan sir at that scene even if you kill gargi's younger sister a section of the audience will say no no it's okay mm it's okay there will be a few people who will say i you don't know what it feels like to be him it's okay let him kill so i i knew that was there and uh, so kali and sai were giving counter reactions i said there's nothing you two can do which will make this scene yours this will belong to this man you know he wrote it like that so whatever you emote and they knew it 
they knew whatever they did this man will walk with this scene you know because his grief was so um so large i think he absolutely right, owned right. the scene actually he, he yeah. was just chewing up he and govind ah govind also of yeah. course i mean i think shafiq yeah. should also be given credit because the way yes 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 edited there yeah i mean yeah. Uh, Major was thing, yeah. was the choice of uh, having it in a slow motion before like you have to shoot it in high fps right so, yeah Yeah, 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 yeah. We shot it like that. There's nothing in this film that has been pushed to slow motion in edit table. No. Mm. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, just before the climax reveal, uh, we see that uh, Gargi has switched places in the auto, so she's in the corner. Before she was to with uh, his her father, so leaning on father. So yeah. did she take a call by that point, or she, was she convinced? Yes, at that yeah. point, right? No, no, no. The call she took the night only because that night itself she went to that other house and you know verified the news. Right, so. right. Yeah, and Sai Pallavi's character uh, performance in that particular just fifteen seconds in in the house haunting that. Oh, yeah, yeah. haunting was to uh, it was haunting really. uh, she actually told me what she had to bring into her uh, into her thinking and i think that's why she was able to and she broke down it was not like the moment i said cut she cut that didn't happen she broke down she mm-hmm. she had a very uh, i can't say very bad episode it worked for the film but i think personally she uh she didn't stop that, that uh, it went on for a while i felt bad for, uh, then she stopped sometime right <laughs> luckily that was the last day of shoot so i was like okay it's okay <laughs> but uh, right she she took something traumatic in her head and uh, that's how that right otherwise you can't cry like that i think no otherwise think- only kamalasan can do that real like like crying but otherwise uh, it it felt really re- i mean really uh, i could feel that emotion w- what she was going through because there is certain kind of pauses you take when you are wailing literally exactly. wailing that that exactly. cannot be mimicked i guess yeah and uh, another thing was single take that sequence i didn't take any other uh, take even if we go through our hard disk there's no second take to that there's just only one take The moment she did it, I think she finished, and uh, we had a few people surrounding, and even Shanti, my DOP, you know, just started clapping M- because uh, I I know the length of the scene. When I usually I always know that when I want to cut, uh, but this and all I forgot. I was just watching, watching, and it was no monitor because it was a small room. So we just I was just standing next to the DOP, and I was just watching her, not even the monitor, the uh, the camera monitor. i was just looking at her face and i forgot to say cut then on her own uh, all that she did sorry touched at feet and all all that on that on her own it came so i knew that uh, i knew that that's the um, she's she's thinking of it in her head and she's doing everything that that character should do there was no directing her in, in, in that shot she was just uh, she took it over completely brilliant brilliant yeah yeah <laughs> uh i mean like we are huge fans of sai pallavi uh, i mean since uh, her debut malar and late, later every other film telugu films also so like we admire okay, her work okay, okay. so yeah great to know that the tidbits behind <laughs> yeah so to be very honest i i didn't approach her as a big like a fan of her work or nothing like that i i thought she looked like that random girl who lived down the house from your uh from your main door right. if you if you randomly knock 67 bar 8 and that door opens no mm. that old door with the two wooden doors thing i thought she'll come out of that house somebody looking like uh, and at that i found it very believable i knew if this woman played it uh, see friday success and all is different but you set out to make a good film that is what i have believed in i knew that will definitely conquer because yes. i believe that she is a watchman's daughter she'll sink into the troll i knew she would uh, generate that next door feel without without having to dull down makeup and all i knew just the looks will get it so that way i was very happy with right right but but here she is a star already she is getting in pre release event even she is getting a lot of 
lot more applause than heroes as well i i know i saw i saw a few of that yeah <laughs> yeah baddy yeah. referred to her as the lady power star so i think he <laughs> We we agree. We both agree. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I think Sukumar Garu was the first. Yeah, Sukumar, ah, Sukumar, Sukumar Garu. Sukumar Garu yeah. quite it. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. 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 And uh, in one of her, uh, uh, I think Virata Parma interviews. I don't know or the interview later. So when uh, Badi was deep diving into her, the way she approaches characters. So she said that she takes a part of every character with her, and it it, it gets ingrained yeah, yeah. into her. So the way you explained right now. So I think that. Uh, corroborates to the same she fact. she she was uh, she find found it tough to come out of kargi she found it tough in a lot of scenes i know she would uh, lock up inside the caravan and cry and uh, uh, sh- few scenes i know the trouble she went through but it's being a little selfish but i can't go and break her mood at that point mm. that is what is driving that artist that is what is setting her apart i can't go and be all cool and say hey you know it's chill you don't have to do all this and she didn't entertain anybody at that time she also knew that she went through a lot not like personal lot and all i'm saying to 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 emote and play that no i know it took a toll on her here and there uh, some artists make their per- performances personal no so when they do that then they have to put themselves in the shoes of that character and asked himself what if my father did this what if so and the madri sela edathlela i knew why she was doing uh, whatever she was doing as in how that is coming out we, we knew mm. right yeah if, even manoj bajpai was mentioning about how traumatic or lot of things that he had to go through for playing certain kind of characters when he was in his prime or in his early career stages so Yeah. Mm-hmm. The things mm-hmm. we don't see in on the screen on the big screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, true. Right. Yeah. Great. Super. Good, good to know. Uh, and I think yeah, I think that's all. And, on that uh, note, I think I think we can end on that note and one yeah. one more ad, ad, additional point to that saying that you basically okay. destroy destroyed not all men argument that they keep saying that. So you basically <laughs> destroyed that argument so just want to say that. <laughs> no i actually we didn't set out anything to do like that at all of course, that of was course. not at all or idea yeah, yeah, yeah. my idea was only to talk about this woman who uh, you know how we say charity begins at home and i thought mm. there's one woman who probably believed that justice should begin at home too so right. that for me was the need of the hour nothing else the other people who got caught in this web are there by by some i won't say accident but it was just a weird coincidence mm. it was not at all an attempt to uh, so the the whole 14 minute 15 minute episode of the chinnamamie song uh, that incident actually spoke of the uh, the crimes done against men by women okay mm. to offset the entire serious nature of the film we had written one of uh, again it was from an incident that i had read of where a woman falsely accused the husband of marital rape and sent him to prison because she was upset that he pushed her father down okay mm. so she made she got his doctor license revoked she made life hell for him and so he played that one guy uh, but it didn't land very well even how much ever we try to connect it to the story it still seemed separate so we had to cut it right but hopefully that will get released and deleted <laughs> i don't know so, but now go and check what my spot editor has done right, so right 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 okay uh, yeah uh, thank you thank you for your time and that's all from my me. pleasure this is actually fun thank you so much for uh, hosting this and having me on the podcast yeah thank yeah. you